standoff underway now in Fairfield near I-80 and Travis Boulevard. So that is where we now turn to another live report. The Secret Service is handling that situation there. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live from that very active scene. Marissa, what can you tell us? Yeah, Dina, we, Dina, we want to take you right to these live pictures right now. We're being kept behind some caution tape right here. This is happening inside this home you see on screen in Shenandoah, Shenandoah Court in Fairfield. The entire neighborhood is closed off right now. Moments ago, we just heard two shots fired off from police. I'm also told right before that, a man came out of the house here with his arms up, followed by another woman doing the same. The SWAT team still here potentially calling on another person to come out of the house as well. Police again have blocked off access to this residential area. We also know some businesses on Oliver Road, which back onto the residential area have potentially been placed on lockdown as well. Now we know the Fairfield Police Department said Secret Service agents came to Fairfield for some sort of operation and that somebody had barricaded themselves inside. At that point, the Secret Service asked for help from the Fairfield Police Department. The Fairfield Department SWAT team and crisis negotiators are on scene. Again, we're working to convince that person inside the home to surrender. Not confirmed if there is somebody still inside the house at this point. Again, the Secret Service and law enforcement can't tell us just yet why that person is considered a suspect or much more about the circumstances surrounding this. If you are traveling in this area, please say avoid the area and drivers expect detours. Again, we're expecting more information in the next coming hours. We'll keep you posted as we learn more back out here in Fairfield. All right, again, Marissa Perlman, thank you for that live update. Again, so two separate situations here. One, a standoff in Fairfield. That is still ongoing, as you just heard from Marissa Perlman live at the scene. That first story we brought you at the top of this half hour, the incident at the Travis Air Force Base turned out to be a false alarm. But again, we're working to figure out if there was any connection, if at all, between the two incidents. And we'll continue to bring you all of the updates we get on this breaking news. For the very latest, you can always turn to our website. That is CBS13.com. We'll also be working to update our social media pages as well.